Okay, so next up we've got the Sega Genesis Portable Ultimate Portable Game Player. Uh, this is actually by At Games. Uh, you might have actually seen a lot of these around. Um, they actually did a home console variant as well that allowed you to use the original Genesis controllers and the original game cartridges, which I thought was awesome. Uh, this one instead comes with an SD card slot. Apparently you can actually go to their website and download games that are not already on this console and play them on here through the menu interface. Um, of course this comes with 85 built-in games. Got some of the classics here like Mortal Kombat. You know, you've got Pac-Man. You, know, you flip it over here and it lists even more of them. Uh, I'm kind of curious about eSWAT, really. Uh, that actually looks kind of cool. I've never played it, but I have heard of it. Now, for those of you that don't know, Sega Genesis, uh, back in the 90s, they were the console that challenged the Super Nintendo during the 16-bit wars. Um, back then, it was just Nintendo and Sega. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. You even though nowadays Nintendo kind of tends to do their own thing with their consoles. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get this guy open. Alright, so I'm going to just open the flap here. and Pretty simple packaging here already. You got right up on top here, you got your uh, instruction manual. Of course, we're not going to need that. We're too cool for instructions. You got your cable here for charging. I did find out by looking at the box, this does have a rechargeable battery pack, which is awesome. Um, the last thing I reviewed, the Pixel Boy by my arcade and Data East did not have that, although you could actually plug one of these guys in and play it on infinite power. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just put this aside. We're not going to throw it aside. We, not, we might actually need that. So we're going to just keep it aside for right now. And we're going to go right here to the console. We're going to go ahead and just peel this off real quick. God, I love that sound. I don't care who you are. That is the best sound ever. But anyway, nice glossy screen. The system feels really good. Yeah, we'll get this out of here too. Um, <laughs> the buttons feel nice and clicky, unlike the Pixel Boy from earlier. <laughs> Uh, this system retails for about $50, uh, $50, $60, I think. I got this guy at Target. The uh, model you can hook up to your TV costs around just as much, and it has just as many games. Um, of course, you've got your uh, AV out if you want to hook it up to a TV. You've got your micro USB for charging, slot for SD card, volume rocker, a little place to put a wrist strap here, speakers, menu button, start button, all the buttons, not just A, B, and C. I remember the old Genesis controllers only having A, B, and C, but this includes the X, Y, and Z as well. A low battery indicator for when you're, uh-oh, I almost had a battery. Headphone jack. You got your uh, on-off switch. This is where the battery goes. You can unscrew it and remove the battery if you need to. Take it in for servicing. I believe that Games has some servicing options available to them. But with all do or with all that said, let's uh, play some video games. All right, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy on. And there you go. This is right down here. Find more classics at AtGames.us. Matter of fact, let's go over to the, uh, so you got your SD card, you can select your SD card right here from the menu. Of course, there are no games. Build to read game. Yeah, there's more to it than that. So go back to the menu screen by clicking the menu. It starts right off the very beginning, which I... Kind of annoying, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. Overall, the screen quality on this is really good. I really enjoy it. The buttons are nice and responsive too. You can go to the about section. It has more information about, about the systems and you can go to their flashback zone at atgames.us. You scan it with your cell phone right here in the QR code. That was really cool. 
So what we're going to do here, um, we're going to go ahead and play some games on this guy. I was actually, uh, my last take, I was actually playing some eSWAT early. I do multiple takes for these videos. One for the unboxing, the other part for looking at the system, and the third part for playing the games. So we're going to go into eSWAT here. Now, one of the biggest turnoffs here is the sound quality. Here it's not so bad, but in games like Comic Zone and Sonic and Knuckles, you're going to notice a lot of distortion. It's just going to sound like somebody smashing a bunch of stuff together. E SWAT. E SWAT. You tell them. Back in 1990. First mission start. You see, pretty simple here. For some reason, I'm not hearing any music. Last time I played this, there was music. Maybe I was just hearing things in my head. <laughs> you can see, pretty responsive control. I haven't had any trouble. Although playing this through the camera has been kind of wonky, so I'm just kind of going through the motions here. Uh, let's go ahead and boot up Comic Zone. I want to actually show you guys what you're going to expect. It's not so bad, but you can just kind of you can actually hear the scratchiness through the speakers. I'm not sure. So right here, it's just almost unbearable. My game screen is good. Graphics are good. Probably if you put in a pair of headphones, this will actually sound really, really nice. But then again, or then again, this is the uh, At Games Sega Genesis Flashback Portable. Um, I got the portable version because I know, like everybody I know, is actually reviewing the uh, the console version, the one that you actually hook up to your TV. Retails for about sixty dollars. Um, but that's about it for this review. I give this product a good solid about. 8 out of 10, I'm docking about 2 points for the sound quality, which is really, really bad. Um, it makes the games almost unbearable to play. However, everything else is really solid. Um, if you've got 50 bucks to spare, you can either get the, the console version or this portable version. It makes a great holiday gift. Until then, this is your old pal Jotaro Shima. Peace out.